Hello everybody, I am Brayman19 and welcome to episode 1 in a brand new series and a brand new game on the channel. This time we're going to be trying a little bit of Railway Empire. Um, I'm a huge fan ever since I was like 2 or 3 years old and can figure out that that's what, you know, what trains were, that I was a bit of a huge fan of them. Um, I played lots of games like Railroad Tycoon and this is kind of the latest thing in that group. This game is brought to you by Calypso as the uh, development studio. And Calypso is known for doing like the Tropico series and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm really very, very, very interested to get into this. I've had the game for a little while. I just haven't had a chance to play. But you know what? We're going to try it now. So anyways, I think it's best just to hop right on in with the campaign and going straight to Chapter 1, which is the Great Plains. First chapter takes you to the construction sites of the Union Pacific Railroad, which was started in 1863. Tracks were built westwards to establish the first transcontinental line. While you are conquering the vastness of the Great Plains and the heights of the Rocky Mountains with your tracks, you will learn about the basics of Railway Empire. Thomas Clark Durant, the visionary in charge of Union Pacific, will assist you. All right, let's do it. All right, so, yeah, no, no, it's pause. I guess we'll figure out some of the stuff as we move along. We start in o uh, Omaha, and we're just kind of playing in these cities. Let's do it. I did an evaluation of the contenders, and... I am the best choice. Ah, so we get to pick people. So we have the industrialists who uh, manufact, uh, construct factories are fifty percent cheaper. He's shy, so in auctions are higher, and he's back candid to about buy a town's factory without an auction. Okay. The rest are just gold diggers who don't have a clue about oh, how so this works. I don't think I have even a chance. All right, we're gonna name this guy. We're gonna name him. Ooh. What's well, a good name for an industrialist? Uh, I'm gonna name him Thomas. Sometimes I think about giving everything up and no, that's a little bit too rugged for a name. Thomas Henry's too rugged. Let's do like Thomas uh, Rockefeller. There you go. That sounds like a good name. Name of your company where it's just gonna be the Union Pacific. I have no choice in that. Let's do it. Exciting. In the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished. To tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured, but the time was ripe. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the camera in all directions. Now, test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. Very good. Now you know the basic controls. Your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Okay. All cities will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to building construction mode. Okay, so it's just like a nice little tutorial for the first one. No big deal. We're just going to play through it. And we need a small train station here. I guess that's kind of how it gets connected. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. 
To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then pay for your track planning. I guess I'm just gonna pay for it right through these things. All right. Um. Now create your first train so that you can set up a rail line between your stations. Initially, your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go manage a train. By the Philadelphia in 1863, 54% tractive power, 27 miles per hour for the top speed. And it cost me 35,500. Let's go ahead and buy the Philadelphia. Hmm. Saying I need to close Additionally, here. Additionally, each train needs a rail line that passes through all the stations it should stop at. Now join your two stations to the rail line by selecting them one after the other. That's enough for your first rail line. Now confirm it so it becomes active. Very good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If there is something to transport, the train will automatically take it. All right. There's our train right there. However, as each locomotive needs water, sand, and lubricant on its journey, you have to place a supply tower along the route. Heck yeah, look at this. That's a cool looking thing right there. I can look back on the, all the beer. Ah, and I can control the whistle too. Oh, that'll make you sick looking down. All right. Now I've got to build something here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, a supply tower. Very good. Your train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Corn. Look, there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way, but we want to change that. Now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. Okay, so I'll do like this. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. Okay, that looks good. Let's see. And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. First, create a sidetrack. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Okay, so I'm going to go like this, I guess. Right here. Yep, nice. Okay. Built that. Go build this one. Excellent. There you go. However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Now open building construction mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. Trains will then be able to stop here when the single track is in use. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out which way it wants me to do it. Okay, so the signal needs to be I get I can't figure out which side okay, this side right here. And we want it to what? Maybe block off this way? 
Now make sure that the track can only be traveled in one direction. For this purpose, set the signal so that trains coming from the opposite direction cannot pass. Or how I do that? That can't be right. All right, hold on. They could do a little bit better at telling us how to do this part. They didn't do it. They're not doing a very good job at teaching us how to do this part, I don't feel. That looks right. Yes, there is a thing right there. Okay, we'll do this. The train goes left, as he's supposed to. Well, that's what you're asking for right there. See, it says, now make sure the track can only be traveled in one direction. For this purpose, set the signals that trains coming from the opposite direction cannot pass. To do this, hold down the shift button and select the signal. Okay. Which I've done. Oh, see, he's fine. Hmm. Oh, maybe... Let's try this real quick. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now, let's try this again. Signal. Okay, they want a signal here. Excellent. There we go. Now do the same on the parallel track so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area and block the track to trains coming from the opposite direction.
very good. There we go. I'm sure that it wasn't at all easy. You will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under Hints and Tips. Well, that would be where it is, right? Okay. Up here. All right, I guess that's all I need to do. Now assemble a new train and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. Okay, so new train. Let's get one. Let's buy it. We're going to... Yeah, just buy that locomotive. Oh, Nate, already did it. We're going to set up a rail line from here to there to there. Excellent. The corn farm will automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. We're okay. still missing something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and expand the station with this building. Right, we've been lollygagging for long enough. I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Do not disappoint me. Okay, let's take a look at the task real quick. So, let's see. We need to connect Omaha and North Platte by 1864 and connect Omaha and Cheyenne. We have optional tasks, which I think I'll go for. Deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver and deliver 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne. Uh, connect 150,000 people to your rail network by 1868. And then we got to connect the Great Plains with the Rocky Mountains. Reaching a population pretty high in Cheyenne, connecting Omaha and Rock Springs, and transport 100 passengers from Cheyenne to Rock Springs without stopping. Okay, so, I guess we would start here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and end this episode right here, because we are already, you know, ready to kind of move along into it. And when we get, uh, when we come back, we're just going to start going through all these. So, all right, guys, I appreciate you all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out the link for Discord. And uh, make sure to check out the link for Twitch as well. And I will see you all next time.